He's dead to me. He is totally and completely dead to me. This is everything about Butch Jones that I've ever hated, all summed up in one brutal ending. Better team, better talent, should have not even been a game in question at all. Three missed field goals, a first and goal from the six-yard line where you make the inexplicable decision to throw a fade to a guy in double coverage instead of giving John Kelly the ball. Final play of the game there. All right, final play of the game there. There is absolutely no way to defend the fact that everybody on earth didn't know there was nine seconds left. You came out of a timeout. You should have had everybody back deep giving no chance whatsoever for anyone to actually catch the ball over your head. The only way you can lose in that situation with nine seconds left is if somebody scores a touchdown. That's literally it. On the final play of the game, I, I, he's too incompetent. I want him fired right now. I don't want him to coach another game. I want to go give Chip Kelly the ball. All you had to do was run the football all day and you would have won. There's no way whatsoever to allow that to happen. It's one thing if you lose and you lose to a team that's better than you are. But Butch Jones lost to Jim McElwain who's so fucking incompetent himself. All they needed to do was throw the ball just make the pass complete anywhere on the field you take a tackle and there's no way you're going to lose. Fucking lost the life championship today I'll guarantee you that. I don't know anything else to be said other than Butch Jones is de dead to me I can't watch him anymore. I can't watch games that Butch Jones coaches because I know in the crucible moment he's going to fuck it up somehow. He's going to take victory and snatch it right from the jaws uh, whatever it is. He's going to snatch victory right from the jaws of defeat or snatch defeat right from the jaws of victory is what I'm trying to say. I can't handle it. I can't handle how awful, awful he is. I can't handle the fact that in a basic situation where every single person out of a timeout knows whatever you do just drop everybody deep and don't allow a pass to be completed in front of you in front of the end zone. They can't manage to pull it off. And look, this wasn't a scramble situation. This was out of a timeout with nine seconds left. They had abundant time to stand there on the sideline, tell everybody on defense, hey guys, let's play an umbrella defense. Let's play a prevent. Let's drop everybody. Let's bail at the line of scrimmage. Why were there defensive backs within five yards of the line of scrimmage here? Most of the time, Tennessee's DBs don't ever cover within five yards of the line of scrimmage. Why did they decide to do that? Why on earth would they even be in that defense to begin with? It's utterly indefensible. There's nine seconds left. And I'm not even, I'm just talking about the final play. I'm not even talking about all of the plays before that where Butch Jones got it choked away with an inability to make three field goals, awful play calls, everything else. Incompetent. Just thoroughly incompetent in this situation. And the only positive I can say is Hopefully this is the first in several losses where people will just say, I'm not willing to put up with Butch Jones anymore. I'm not willing to deal with the fact that he doesn't know what he's going to do on the sideline, that he's incompetent, that he is unable to put it in the situation. They are in the, they're at the 40-yard line. There are nine seconds left. It's impossible to score a 60-yard touchdown in under nine seconds when you're taking the snap from the line of scrimmage. Literally, all you have to do is make a tackle inside the field of play and probably the clock is going to run out. That's it. That's all you have to do. And that doesn't even get you to all the other situations before that where you had an opportunity. Now, that's it. That's all I got to say. I don't even know what else to say. I don't know what else to say uh, there other than everything about Butch Jones in this game confirmed what I already knew and I find him utterly unlikable as a coach utterly indefensible as a coach and utterly and completely fired in my opinion. And I again, I, I, I just it, it infuriates me because I see it all the time. You see Butch Jones on the sideline and he doesn't know what's going on. He just doesn't know. This is not a good Florida team. This Florida team is actually awful. 
It's one of the worst Florida teams ever. Tennessee was better. Tennessee was the better team. They should have won this game. They dicked it around. They found a way to lose. Butch Jones is utterly incompetent and he needs to be fired. Period. There's not a lot else to say. There's not a lot else to say except Butch Jones is incompetent and he needs to be fired. And anybody who doubted any of the sunshine pumpers out there that wanted to defend Butch Jones, you need to shut the fuck up. You no longer have any kind of argument at all. All right. I love all of you. Uh, I'm going to go eat dinner with my wife and get drunk. I appreciate all of you coming to hang out with me. I'm Clay Travis. This is Outkick the Show presented by Odd Shark. Let me go ahead and tell you. You're probably going to be drunk and hungover later today. So let me go ahead and tell you where you need to go. You need to go to Crystal. And right now I'm telling you the way to get hooked up at Crystal is all you have to do is go to uh, text the word OUTKICK to 37793 right now and you get crystals and coke. It's the only real sustenance you can have. The world sucks. Butch Jones sucks. There's lots of crystals though that'll make you feel better. Go get some crystals. Uh, and right now they'll hook you up with free crystals. Eight, st- sorry, so text OUTKICK to 37793. Uh, I'm done with Butch. Fire him right now. Fire him. Fire him. Fire him. He is utterly incompetent. Love you guys. Positive. Only positive I can think of. If you're an OutKick VIP, you still won both the over. I mean, you won by the, the initial line and you also won the, uh, the under there. Otherwise, there's nothing good to be said. I still love the First Amendment and boobs. Those don't ever let me down. Butch Jones... Maybe he's the first boob to ever let me down. It's a sad day in Knoxville. It's a sad day in Nashville. It's a sad day in Memphis. It's a sad day wherever people bleed orange. Because Butch Jones makes us cry tears of shame after every big game. I love you guys. Kisses. I'll see you later. I'm out to drink. Boy, my sorrows. Alcohol cures everything. The cause of and solution to all of life's problems. Especially when Butch Jones is your coach. I'll see you guys.